Get ready with me to go bridesmaids dress shopping with my sister. My sister is getting married in October. So as her maid of honor, we are doing all the duties. So the dress shop said she's only allowed to bring three people max, which is kind of like an annoying rule. There's four of us. So hopefully we don't get kicked out. We're first going for brunch at Old Days in Tribeca. Never been. I don't know if it's just me or other New Yorkers too, but I always just end up going to the same spots. So my sister's looking for champagne colored dresses for her bridesmaids, of course. So if you guys have any recommendations of where to get beautiful bridesmaids dresses, let us know. My sister's bachelorette party is in July and we're doing it at Miami. Party planning 100% brings me life. These bras are slaying. My sister's wedding is gonna be very earthy and nautical. So I know she wants these dresses to feel very ethereal. I'm also doing my sister's makeup for her wedding day. Like what an honor, are you kidding me? So this whole journey is very fun and exciting for me and I'm super excited to bring you guys along. Here's the final glam, time to go bridesmaids dress shopping. Love you guys. Get ready with me while I tell you guys a little story time about when a fan showed up to my house. But this happened sometime in the spring and I had gotten home from school. My mom was still at work so my sister and I were at home on our phones just relaxing after school. I don't know if you guys watched the bullying video but this was around the same time where my phone number was getting leaked and so was my address. The doorbell of my house rings and my sister goes to open it. Now the doorbell had rung around the time that my mom usually got home so we figured it was just our mom and she had too many groceries so she couldn't open the door. My sister was the one who answered the door and I could hear them talking downstairs so I came out of my room to see what was going on. I wasn't really worried because I figured it might have just been like a package that needed signing or something. But as I go downstairs and lock eyes with this kid, I didn't recognize him and I, and I lived in a small town before so I kind of just knew everyone. So I asked what his name was, he told me his name, and then he asked for a photo with me. Now usually if you guys ever see me in public, I'm always totally okay with pictures. I don't mind at all. In fact, I love meeting you guys. But at this point, I felt really uncomfortable and I asked him where he was from. This kid wasn't even from where I live at all. He lived in a whole different province, so he had to like fly to this area. He told me that he was visiting some family who lived in the same town and he found my address and decided to show up at my door. Immediately, I felt super uncomfortable, just as anyone would in that situation. So I looked at this kid blankly in the eyes after he asked for a photo, and I said, You realize you're at my house. Which is a massive invasion of my privacy. I asked him where he got my address from, and he told me the name of the person who lived in my town. Obviously, I didn't take a picture with him, because that's just... I was scared at that point. And so I told him to leave and please not come back and don't give out my address to anybody else. But that kid never bothered me again. And I didn't have anyone else ever show up to my house asking for a picture. But it was definitely one of the weirdest interactions I've ever had. Anyways, that was my uh, little story time. Let's talk about some of the rumors that have been spread about me so far in high school. I'm making this video because it's come to my attention that some people literally still believe this stuff and it's just, it's hilarious. We'll start out with the one that was literally commented on my video the other day saying how weird I was for doing this thing. This was like my sophomore or junior year and on this particular day, some guy and some girl decided to get frisky in the parking lot in the morning. The girl who I thought was my friend started the rumor that it was me and some random guy. First of all, I'm late to school every day. I don't even get there early enough to be taking part in whatever was taking place. Secondly, the guy that she said I did it with had never even seen my car before. Like, what? So yeah, this was a real thing that I literally had to talk to teachers about and like find out who it was. Like, sorry to burst your bubble. It wasn't me. I know exactly who it was now and I'm not the type to get frisky in the morning in a school parking lot. Like, sorry. This same girl has spread multiple lies about me, such as I cheated on my boyfriend, and someone else spread the same thing about my boyfriend. So what actually happened with my boyfriend's rumor was this guy that wasn't even, like, a part of my boyfriend's friend group, but he hung out with them on spring break for, like, a night or two, and he cheated on his girlfriend, and when his girlfriend found out, he, like, brought everyone else down with him and said that they all did it too. All those boys were cuffed, and none of them even went out on that night, so, like, how low do you have to be? And the girl that spread my rumor literally cheated on her boyfriend on a cruise ship and like told me it wasn't true so i texted the guy that like my friend knew it was so her little scandal was true and she brought me down and brought my friend down saying that she did stuff as well when i can tell you that is just absurd and the same girl spread a rumor about me that i was pregnant and she spread one about my friend that she was pregnant and she was literally the only one having scares of her own like i don't even know what she was talking about like it wasn't even a possibility and i just remember standing in the student section and someone yelling out kendall's pregnant 
I was in shock, and when I found out where they heard that from, no wonder why we're not friends anymore. Next rumor that was hard for me to get out of is there was a rumor that I was caught vaping in the bathrooms. Because a ton of people saw me crying with police officers, and it was because of my own family issues. Like, it had nothing to do with school. A ton of people saw me crying with the cops and just started the rumor that I was vaping in the bathrooms. Like, I don't vape. I've really never touched a vape. I never will vape. Like, how do you get yourself out of a situation when you can't even talk about what was actually going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? People just always have their two cents to put in, and I bet you a lot of people think I'm, like, the worst person in the world. And that's not an assumption. I literally have people commenting on my TikToks about, like, all these rumors that apparently happen, and that I shouldn't have this platform, and that my life is going nowhere, and that I'm a bully and a liar. Katie Ritchie, Katie Fang, all of them say, if you have people from your school making hate accounts just for you, no, you're doing something right. And obviously, like, everyone's had their fair share of scandals. Like, yes, I've had things happen. But, like, I'm literally an adult now, and I'm so past, like, my high school years, and I still have four months left. And it's just funny to me that people still cling to, like, things about me since, like, sophomore year. I'm a very quiet person now. I just stick to my own business. Like, I'm just trying to get out of high school. I don't hate anyone. Like, I don't have hard feelings about anyone. The only bad thing about me is I have a really bad RBF, so, like, people probably do think I'm a B-word. But, like, I can't be smiling all the time. Anyway, there's a crap ton more that I know of, and I'm sure there's, like, billions more that I don't even know of. I'm already to go. My hair needs to fall still. It looks kind of crazy. Going on a date day with my boyfriend. We're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory and get slushies, and then we're gonna go see a movie. I also need to go to Target, so it's gonna be a long, fun day. So, hopefully you guys have a good day, and hopefully this was entertaining. Let me know if you want more about this stuff. Peace out. Love you. If you disagree with having darker eyebrows in your hair color, then just skip this video because I don't want to hear it. I think it's unique and pretty. So I'm going to be dyeing my eyebrows dark and I'm also getting my hair blonder tomorrow. So, so all you need is this just for men beard dye. You can get it from Target. I think it's like $5. It's cheap. With a spoolie, I'm going to be plucking them a little bit and you need like a little thing to mix the stuff on. I hate doing this, but it must be done. Oh, I'm, this is probably gonna be a huge mistake. It's a little bit too long. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, did I just do too much? I just did way too much now. Goes... It's fine. Why did I bring out the scissors? Sydney? What am I doing? <laughs> I just totally mutilated this eyebrow. Do I, I'm not even gonna touch the other side. Why the fuck did you guys let me do that? Okay, now to the whole fucking point of this video, let's dye them. Do a dabble of the color base. No measurements needed. And a dabble of the color developer. I this buoy and I mix. Are you watching, mommy? You are? Yeah, I know. So taking this buoy, dip it in, just put it on your eyebrows. But I start at the tail. The tail should be the darkest. And then I just kind of brush it to the center. Then you just let it sit for a little bit. You can see they're starting to turn black. <laughs> Wet paper towel and wipe. And there you have it. I cannot believe I did that to this eyebrow. Oh, this was helpful. You know what's horrifying? Your boyfriend meeting your parents. You know what's more horrifying? The parents meeting the parents. So my boyfriend and I have been together for like a year and a half. And our families have never met because our families live in different states. So my family is from the Midwest and they are very, very boots and yeehaw. And my boyfriend's family is Italian. My boyfriend and I were talking, we're like, huh, I wonder if they're gonna get along. My boyfriend's family is very city-like. Mine live on a farm. My boyfriend and I were also raised very differently. You know the olive theory? I hate olives, he loves olives. I love cake, he hates cake. I love ice cream, he hates ice cream. I love my alone time, he hates being alone. I like solo traveling, and he has never traveled alone once before in his entire life. Um, I struggle with my mental health, and this guy has never experienced a day of trauma, and he'll tell you that. Not a thought going on in there. He's never stressed, man is never stressed. Imagine waking up like that every single morning, not a, not a stress in the world. I grew up riding horses, he grew up skating and racing cars. Oh, here's a good one. I grew up as the oldest child, therefore I'm bossy. He grew up as the youngest child, therefore he thinks that he's the favorite and that everything's always gonna go his way. I'm like, okay, I am the way that I am because my parents raised me. And he's the way that he is because his parents raised him. So if we are polar opposites, does that mean that our parents are also gonna be polar opposites? Because here we are, a year later. But you know one thing that I was just like relieved about is both of our moms drink wine and both of our moms are chill. And I think they make the guys chill. One time my dad was at a bar in Missouri and these guys were pressing him. These guys were flirting with us younger girls, making us uncomfortable. So my dad was just like, get out of here, you know? And I threw myself, my little tiny self in the middle of these two grown men. And the, you know, the one lesson that they always say, like never, jump in a dog fight. I jumped in that dog fight and I was like, dad, don't do this. Like just let it die. For sure, I diluted the problem. But I have this tendency to try to 
help people. I probably shouldn't. I don't know if anyone remembers, but I, like a year ago, I was in LA. My mom and stepdad were visiting, did the same thing. Like I tried to dilute a problem. Someone grabbed my hair, ripped my hair out. That's what these are. These are my baby hairs still growing back. Gave me a concussion, beat me up on the ground and left me there. Police came and everyone had to like separate the problem. Anyways, I keep having this dream about how my boyfriend's dad gets in a fight and then my dad steps in to help. And then this big old brawl breaks out. And I have this dream about how I like try to help. And in my dream, I wake up because I'm just getting like beat up. What time are we leaving? My dad's texting me. What's it called whenever you, you have like this thought in your head and normally you're never wrong about it? No, intuition. Oh. I have really good intuition. Oh, my stepmom's showing her off at go. I need to pick shoes. Okay, well, let the people vote. Okay, I told you that they wear cowboy boots. They're yeehaw. Okay, should she wear her cowboy boots or little mini boots? I say you stick to the root and wear the cowboy boots. I shouldn't be stressed. I'm stressed. And I, I guarantee my boyfriend's not dressed. I wonder what he's doing. I guarantee he's not. See that? That swoop? Yes, come show your outfit. Okay, all right, show them your boots. Your boots. Let me see your jeans. Very nice. Now your shirt. <laughs> Recording. Now I'm in the spotlight? Yes, now you're in the spotlight. Okay, here's my PMPO, parents meet parents outfit. Coach jewelry, vintage earrings. I feel like it's a very mature Tabitha outfit. And then I have these shoes. I have my coach bag. Okay, wish us luck. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. I won't start until 9.45, but I'm going out on a date with Alex before school. I'm also going with my friend and her boyfriend. But before I start my skincare, I have a little problem. Everyone always asks me like, what's my skin type, blah, 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 blah. And I've never known until recently. Like I went the whole day of school yesterday and I had that much oil on my face, it was bad. I have really oily skin and it's, I'm starting to realize it now being back at school. So I don't wanna use Glow Recipe because I feel like that might be just making it worse. But I love Glow Recipes and I don't want to stop using it. Today I'm going to use a little bit of the drops and then my La roche Pose moisturizer. And I'm going to see if there's a difference. This really kills me that this might like be just making my skin worse. Like maybe I'm just putting too much. But seriously, when I tell you the school air makes my face so greasy and just disgusting. It's so bad. Like I have never felt more ugly than what I did yesterday. The first day back at school, I wanted to look good and just like have a good day it was a good day but i look like shit i'm gonna look for some skincare that is for oily skin and i'm gonna try it out and then see if that helps but i had a little story time basically my brother was cooking us pizzas last night for school today like the little the little ones and they came with two like they come connected so he cooked four so two for him two for me it's like oh you're such a nice brother like thank you so much but i ate one of mine last night because i was so hungry and i had that as my dinner but I came out there this morning to go pack my lunch. He's in the fridge for himself and left mine out on the tray and he took a bite of it. And so I asked him this morning like, hello, did you take a bite out of my freaking pizza? And he says, no, my sisters aren't home right now. So I was like, well, who was it then? It wasn't mum or dad, like you can't lie here. <laughs> Turns out it was him. So from now on, I'm just never buying him food from a canteen ever again. That's his consequence. Guys, I got a shit ton of plastic container like things to for your drawer. So after school today, I'm gonna make a video of like doing my vanity. I was gonna wear these today. Frick. What's a bit late for that? I don't know why I just put that sunscreen on because this peels on my face. You know like those skincare things that freaking peel? Mm. It's definitely gonna make my skin go oily throughout the day. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. The thing that's been going whack recently is my eyebrows because my eyebrow gel turned freaking white and now they go weird. It is also like over 40 degrees in Perth, so that could be why. I'm gonna go over them with the Lash Therapy Eyebrow Gel. I do this quite lightly because this tends to make them drop a little bit, but they definitely stay in place. Yesterday I had a pretty bad lash day, so, oh, oh, okay, today's better. I don't know why this has gone for so long. I think it's because I just talk too much in these. I'm waiting for my brother to come in here and tell me that I can have one of his pizzas today. This eyebrow has dropped and thinned so much, but this one hasn't. What? Okay, well, I'm all ready for school, so have an amazing day. Hey guys, get ready with me for bed. Except it's the night before school. 
Like, how is it already school? May was literally yesterday. Oh! Like, I don't think my mind has, like, fully processed that, like, I'm going to school tomorrow. Like, I just... What? But yeah, I'm not really, like, nervous at all. I'm, like, low-key excited. Except I have volleyball tryouts literally right after school, so I'm gonna be really freaking tired. But, yeah, I'm also gonna put in uh, whitening strips after this. So, yeah. Um, I also went to ulta today and i got like a bunch of new products including this uh good molecules hyaluronic acid serum so just gonna put that on my face right now also y'all i tried out like 10 different makeup routines like an hour ago because i have like no clue how i want to do my makeup tomorrow but i think i finally found a routine that i like also you guys if you um follow my other account you'll see that i got my hair done so you can't really like see it right now but um i also got a little trim so yeah by the way you guys that that like little cut i had um i kind of like peeled it off because it was turning into a scab so now it like really burns so yeah i'm gonna just go put on some of this eye cream because i can because i have nothing to talk about i'm literally like not stressing at all like there's no way i'm going to school tomorrow and i also took an everything shower so i feel so freaking nice and clean so yeah this freaking thing on my chin is like burning right now so i gotta get this cream off of it i also have like nothing to eat for lunch tomorrow so my mom went out to randall's to go get me stuff for my lunch and by the way you guys this year i have the first like lunch period so i have lunch at like 11 10 or something and last year i had it at 12 40 so that was late literally completely forgot that i just bought this um the ordinary lash and brow serum so i'm gonna go put that on my lashes right now okay i think you just like oh is that you put it on i don't know let's hope it doesn't irritate my lashes okay if that makes my eyeballs burn i'm gonna be super mad but yeah that's it so wish me a good day tomorrow and i love you all picture day is literally tomorrow and i effed up my hair like i don't even know what i'm going to do about it okay so i had my mom straighten my hair for picture day and the reason why i had her straighten it is because i was really tired from basketball and also like she's really fast at straightening it so before she blow dried it i mean so before she started i blow dried it i brushed it out and i also put this heat protectant in and i didn't realize i put way too much in my hair and my mom didn't tell me until she was halfway done with my hair. So she literally just kept going and straightening my hair. Like, I... So, like... Oh, my God. So now my hair is really freaking oily. And... What's it called? Look. It's, like, weighed down so much. It does not do, like, the little hair thing. Sorry, guys. I had to stop because I literally just had a breakdown. <laughs> and I really don't want to wear my hair curly because it, like frizzes up like so much especially in like the school and just everywhere and i won't be taking my pictures literally till six hour and i can't miss any of these days this week because i have like two tests well two or three tests in my classes and then also i have formatives too i literally don't know what to do because i'm not good with hair and i don't want to mess it up because i have no time to fix it this week literally can't get any worse I need to stop crying so I don't cry this serum off. Does anyone know what to do? Because I don't know how to make it less oily. Plus, I still have to put my lashes on, but I don't even think I'm going to do that because my hair already looks terrible. Time to use some of this. I've been using it all week. It's literally so bad I might try and do retakes. It's just that I don't know if they're going to let me. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a better week than me because trust, this week will get worse. But love you so much. Bye.
My favorite part of the day is getting ready for bed and then laying in my bed and watching TV. But well, let's get ready for bed together. I got a massage today and it was literally the best thing ever, but she rubbed oil all over in my hair. So I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair really quick and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back out of the shower. It has been like 30 minutes though because I ended up having like an everything shower. My whole body is so soft and smooth and my hair is washed. Getting out of the shower is like the best feeling in the world to me. Once I finish getting ready for bed, I have to go finish editing a YouTube video and then I'm gonna paint my toenails. And also watch Gilmore Girls and snuggle my puppy. I forgot to show you guys Otis when he got back from the groomers. Like he just got a puppy cut today so they didn't give him like a full haircut. It's just to like get him used to everything and then trim up his face and paws and stuff like that. So here's what he looks like. He just looks super fluffy but he's so soft i honestly feel like he might look even bigger after he got groomed i love the feeling of just having all my skincare done and being ready for bed all the grass went into my front yard today my yard finally looks like a real yard i'm putting all the grass in the backyard tomorrow then my yard is almost done okay i'm gonna go get my bed now good night wake up i have to go to school and you have to stop scrolling on tiktok i really don't want to go to school no complaining around here. Fix your bed, okay? So cold, bro. Boy. This is around the time where I have to start rushing for school. <laughs> Do you guys have breakfast in the morning before you go to school? Because I literally am always hungry in the morning. Look at the curl difference. Y'all need this routine. If you want a video, let me know. Taking some contour right now. Am I the only one that takes their mascara off with a Q-tip? Or is it just me? Ooh, look at the eyeliner. I love it. I'm gonna try it on the other side. Here's my lip combo. It's a NYX lip pencil and espresso and then this random lip gloss by Pharmacy. Now I'm trying to find an outfit. I think I'm gonna start with a plain black tank top. Keep on getting my shirts dirty with the order and makeup. Then I'm gonna wear these black flare leggings from Polyester. Okay, cute. Then I have this jacket. I don't know. I'm gonna see how it looks. Yeah, this is it for sure. With Air Forces, of course. Now it is time to do my hair, but we're in a rush. <laughs> For those asking what I do, I just shake it out. The outfit is not complete without some earrings. And then I'm gonna put my name because on. This perfume, you guys have to get it. Here's the final outfit, Hollister Gifted Hollister Air Forces. Snack time. Cliff Parker Nova Bar. Little bites and double stuffed Oreos. Water and my intro for breakfast. Okay guys, that was it. Have an amazing day, bye, love. It's clear that I'm not white, but my dad's white. So he's gotten into a lot of trouble for having a black daughter. This is him. My dad was the custodian at my middle school and not all the teachers knew that. My dad and I decided that we were gonna go on a late night walk because we wanted to go to the convenience store. And it so happens that the teachers in my school were having some sort of staff dinner in the same plaza. My dad and I go to the convenience store and we come out and I guess the teachers are leaving now. We're walking back home and we see like a car slow down beside us and then it like turns all the way over because we're still in the parking lot and like they're on the road. So he drives past us slowly and we make eye contact and then he like zooms off but the shock on his face was like, we were like, that was weird but like whatever. I know for a fact this man went home and couldn't sleep at night thinking, oh my gosh, one of my students is out late at night with the custodian. The next day was a school day and my dad gets called into the office. Right away the principal said like a teacher came to him and they're extremely worried about destiny and my dad knew right away what teacher it was and why they were worried. Luckily the teacher knew my dad so it wasn't really a big deal. They kind of laughed about it but this has happened to my dad so much like in real life people stopping him and being like whoa. You know how your parents when you're a kid like tell you don't talk to strangers, don't go wandering off because or else somebody might snatch you. My parents made up this fictional character. His name was Omi Dusaku. In English it translates man with a bag or man with a sack. It's a creative name. <laughs> Omi Dusaku would get you if you wandered off away from your parents. In my head I'm literally picturing a Jeepers Creepers. Big hat, wrench coat, carrying a bag. Some kids believe in Santa Claus. Well I believed in the Omi Dusaku. Mm -hmm. Every time you go to Walmart, there's a ceiling tile missing here and there. They would tell me that Omidusaku is waiting right up there and he's watching me. My stupid ass believes. <laughs> Why? Why would they lie to me? Why? I would ask them questions like, where did he come from? You know what their answer was? From hell. He comes from hell. One day, I accidentally got left behind in the aisle. I realized that my parents aren't there. And above me is a missing ceiling tile. <laughs> I tell you my life before my eyes i ran out of there so fast my parents are on the next aisle bro okay. but in my head om lusaka didn't play no game fast forward a few years later i went to goodwill with my mom i'm 11 i'm doing my own thing and i was by the door it's like it happened in slow motion i see this old ass man in a trench coat with a big hat carrying a black trash bag and in my head this is omi lusaka smiles at me he's missing like a front tooth oh it made it even worse <laughs> i was like this is it 
it. I should have believed them. I shouldn't have questioned them. He continued to walk away. I thought, God has spared me today. I got to my mom and I told her, you'll never believe the fuck I just met. She's like, who? Homie <laughs> Lusaku. Parents, if you ever want to keep your child in line, tell them about Omi Lusaku. <laughs> And how he comes from the pits of hell. <laughs> okay, mwah, mwah. ciao, ciao, bitch, love you. You guys genuinely won't believe what just happened. So my roommate CJ has a really bad OCD. Because of this, she's really picky about where she showers. She doesn't like to shower in our dorm bathroom and she prefers to shower at her boyfriend's house, which is just up the street. So every other day we're driving up to her boyfriend Ben's house so that she can shower. Since CJ showers there really often, she just has all of her stuff there. Her shampoo is there, her conditioner, her body wash. Oh, no, that's where she showers. She's got all her stuff in there. Now here's where I gotta give you all the little backstory. Ben lives alone with his dad in a small little apartment. Ben's dad has a long-term girlfriend that lives about three and a half hours away in Tennessee. Every single weekend, Ben's dad leaves here to go visit his girlfriend in Tennessee. As of three weeks ago, there's been a new guest staying in Ben's home. Ben's dad has this kind of crazy ex-girlfriend. She needed a place to stay for a few days while she was moving into her new apartment. She's been staying at Ben's house, which is already weird that Ben's dad would let his ex-girlfriend stay there. Keep in mind, Ben's dad's current long distance girlfriend does not know that his ex-girlfriend is now staying with him in his home. Ben's dad's ex-girlfriend's name is Misty. We're just name dropping here because I don't really care. We were all told that Misty was only going to be there for a couple days while she moved into her new apartment. Turns out she actually doesn't have an apartment, isn't even looking for one, and will probably be staying through Christmas. She's already been there for three weeks and there's been no progress on finding an apartment, so she's probably going to be there for a lot longer. Anyways, me and CJ go over to Ben's to shower just like normal. CJ gets in the shower and Ben is just in there talking to her while she showers. I'm in the other room just editing TikTok videos playing on my phone. All of a sudden, I hear CJ shout, Ben, where's my shampoo and conditioner? It's gone. And out, Misty, the ex-girlfriend, threw them away. It's not cheap shampoo and conditioner. It's JVN, and the bottles of shampoo and conditioner weren't even empty. CJ is obviously freaking out, and she's like, oh my gosh, that's $80 worth of product, and she just threw it in the trash. Ben texts his dad and tells him that Misty threw it away, and Misty ends up, it was hard to explain kind of what happened, but she ended up dumping diving into the big old dumpster opening the trash bag and pulling out the shampoo and conditioner and then when she came back inside she had the nerve to say to ben there's her empty shampoo and conditioner bottles who says that i was in the bathroom with cj during that time when she came in and said that and both of us looked at each other we're like are you freaking kidding? Who does she think she is? You've already been having problems with her the entire time that she's been staying there. So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to tell those stories as well. Because I we're already having problems with her and we already didn't like her from the start. For her to overstay her welcome in a house that she's not even supposed to be in anymore. And then she has the audacity to just start using other people's products and then throwing them away. The only way she would have thought they were empty is if she had been using them and thought she used the last of the product. Especially because CJ had been noticing that they were kind of like decreasing rapidly and she wasn't really showering at Ben's that often. She wasn't showering at Ben's that often for them to be getting empty as fast as they were. That crusty lady had literally been using CJ's really expensive shampoo and conditioner and then they had the audacity to throw them away without even telling her or asking. I don't know, it just really rubbed us the wrong way and made us mad, especially because she's already been doing a ton of other stuff to get on our nerves. Honestly, just don't touch other people's stuff, moral of the story, especially when it's $80 worth of shampoo and conditioner. Love ya. But y'all, this morning I... Oh green light i was saying oh green light really i just it's, it's illegal to drive and do your makeup at the same time right i was like um oops <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm driving and doing my makeup oh green light <laughs> i'm driving and then stopping at a stop light and doing my makeup there's a train going on in front of me okay i'm just putting my concealer blush oh green light all the lights were in my favor today because they were all green this need to be cleaned <coughs> i coughed like a little kid i think i like this little light I gotta go to work. Y'all stay asking me what I do for work, and I'm a social media consultant, so does it really work? Yes, it is. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara, just a little bit. I got this pink lippy to match my pink dressy. My edges, we're not gonna talk about it. Everybody at my job is, so they won't notice. Deodorant. Yes, I use men deodorant. Old Spice Oasis. Mm, this is not for blue, this is for pink. I believe it's for pink. Because it smells too good to be for boys. Bye.